In behavioral economics, a multiple self model is just a model where you're playing a game against yourself. In this video, we're going to be going through a few examples and we're also going to ask the question, why is it important to build models in this way? Now, there's different variations of multiple self models. For example, there's the planner self versus the doer self who might have slightly different motivations. There's the future self versus the current self. There's a higher self versus the kernel self, which might exist in the same time period. You can have more than two selves. For example, you could have a self making a particular decision every year. There's lots of variations of multiple self models. The most classic probably is the planner doer model where the person planning might have different motivations than the person actually acting out that plan, doing the plan. And that's also going to be a principal agent model. You might want to employ a multiple self model anytime you have a situation where there's different motivations within yourself that could be at war or could be at odds. Now someone might ask, why is this concept useful? Why do we even bother to set up these models that, that sort of get at the deep weird motivations inside a human being? One answer to that question has to do with the power dynamics that might play out when a person makes decisions where different parts of themselves pull that person different directions. And in particular, if different um, institutions or organizations in society target or try to empower different versions of the self, it might matter understanding that power dynamic within the self. For example, advertisers obviously are going to target a certain version of the self. It might be, um, it might be the doer self, it might be the um, carnal self, it might be the present day self. And other entities in society, for example, policymakers, might want to empower, say, a higher version of the self, the planner self, um, the future self, etc. And perhaps we might want to change the power dynamic at play. Also, as social media becomes a bigger and bigger part of the motivational structures in society, we may want to ask some of these questions having to do with which parts of ourself are activated. Um, by different things happening on social media. Now a simple example of a multiple self model would be a game tree where the current self is trying to decide do I try smoking or do I refrain from trying smoking? And then the future self, if you're a smoker, um, then you have to decide do you quit or do you continue? And it's easy to see why there might be different motivations for these different versions of the self, and even chemical and probably brain differences between the self that's a non-smoker and the future self that's a smoker. So I set this up as a game tree. I'm not going to go over how to solve game trees, but I'll put a link in the description below about where you can go to learn to solve game trees. Of course, you use backwards induction to do this. Um, the current self, so let's think about what are the payoffs in this uh, multiple self model. Well, um, if you don't try smoking, there's really no gain, no loss. If you try smoking, it would be kind of neat to have tried it just so that you know what the experience is like. Um, in which case, the future self gets one util from trying smoking and quitting. A little bit of gain from knowing what it's like without being addicted. Um, but if you try it and then end up addicted, that's going to negatively affect the rest of your life. It'll be a struggle for the rest of your life. Your lungs are going to be shot and that could um, shave a few years off your life. So you get negative 10 utils if you try smoking and continue smoking as a smoker for the rest of your life. And then your future self, of course, has very different uh, feelings about quitting versus continuing. Your future self gets negative 10 noodles from quitting. That's really hard. It's, um, there's just so many bad experiences that go along with quitting smoking. Continuing smoking is a positive experience. They like it. It's not a fantastic experience. It's just a pretty positive experience. So if we use backwards induction, of course, as we do with these, uh, these game trees, the future self we know is going to prefer to, to continue. So we know even if the current self would like to reach this node, we know that the future self will not allow the current self to ever reach that node. So when the current self makes this decision, really the two options are going to be smoke, in which case you know the future self will probably choose to continue, and you get negative two utils, or 
don't smoke and you don't get any gain, you have to give up the possibility of gaining that one util from trying it and quitting because you're playing the game against your future self. All right, the second model I wanna talk about is the planner-doer model. And oftentimes this is referred to as a dual self model than a multiple self model. Um, but of course, dual self is under the umbrella of multiple self. And the planner-doer model separates the self into the self that sort of plans out and has these ideals that you want yourself to live up to, and the doer self is the self that actually acts them out. And we know, of course, that there can be tension between these two, so it's worth pointing out. What are the different roles of these parties? Well, the planner self budgets, the doer self actually buys. The planner self plans your meals, the doer self actually eats those meals. The planner self sets the goals and the doer self, I didn't know how to describe this so I said sweats the goals. And when you, when you look at these, you notice that this actually goes along with um, models that economists have thought about for years. The, the principal agent model is a model that we started thinking about when we were looking at um, the, the owner of the business or the manager of a business who's trying to inspire employees to work. Um, and the worker who actually sort of enacts things on behalf of the business. And so the manager's job really is how do you get this employee who has lots of different incentives pulling at them to do what the company wants them to do. And so we have a deep literature thinking about this. And we realized that the same sorts of tensions, the same sorts of power tensions, the same sorts of incentive tensions that apply when we're looking at an employer and a, and a worker, those also apply when we look at the self that plans and tries to create a version of the self and the self that actually um, enacts those plans usually imperfectly. Now, the next question we wanna ask is, what are the tools that each of these players has to enact their will in the moment? The employer, of course, sets the salary, sets the financial incentive structure, and that's one of the main tools that an employer or a boss might have in a company to inspire the, the employee to work for the business's best interest. But it's not the only incentive. Um, the boss can create social incentives where you have meetings and sort of give social credit to employees who've done well at their job. You give them the spotlight for a little bit, you make them examples to other employees that can enter into their motivational structure. You can have awards or bonuses. There's all kinds of tools that the employer has to inspire the employee. So what kinds of tools does the planner have, the planner self, to inspire the doer? Let's think about that things like imposing consequences. You can impose consequences on yourself. Um, changing the salience, so if you pay more attention to something, that's going to cause it to have a heavier weight in your decision making. Um, accountability check-ins, which could be check-ins with yourself, or it could be check-ins with other people. So that's an overview of multiple self models. They're really fun. If you know any game theory at all, setting up a multiple self model can be um, one of the funnest things you do. So I highly encourage creativity in this realm.